Today we're going to introduce you to the Pro Tools Matrix, a comprehensive modular interface for Pro Tools. So the Pro Tools Matrix actually does several different things in one 2U box. It's a collaboration between Digital Audio Denmark and Avid. It is an audio interface for Pro Tools. It is a router allowing us to take any input and route it to any output. It allows us to connect with IP audio via Dante. It is also an incredibly powerful monitor section controllable via Yukon. So everything from our free Pro Tools, iPad, Pro Tools control application, all the way up to the S6. This is an amazing product with a lot of different options. So let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into this for you guys. So what does the Matrix come with standard? Yeah, so it has uh, integrated DigiLink, uh, which allows us to attach up to 64 channels of Pro Tools systems. Now, the interesting thing about that is it can either be one HDX system, 64 channels, or you can actually split it to have Pro Tools A and Pro Tools B and then actually be able to send audio between those. On the chassis, you've got 64 channels of coaxial MATI uh, built right in, and then you also have 16 channels of AES EBU. That's really cool. So let's talk about some of the ways that we use this in our studio here, and we have it expanded. So because it's, it's not only just that base, you can expand the box. You can, yeah. You've got a car bus architecture that allows you to add up to eight separate cards depending on your workflow, what you need to add to it. We can add MADI cards. Uh, 128 channels per card can either be optical or coaxial MADI depending on the SFPs that you pick. Uh, you can add aes -CBU cards which have sample rate conversion right at the input. Uh, we can add A to D cards for having incredibly high quality A to D conversion of uh, eight channels coming into the box on DB25 connectors for multiple outputs, for integrating uh, you know, Atmos setups and having a number of different speakers. We can have uh, high quality D to A cards uh, added in there as well. Now there's some other interesting options we can expand this. We can actually add S SDI right to the box as well as IP audio. So we can actually add a Dante option card to be able to connect up to 64 ins and 64 outs over the Dante network. So let's talk about some of the stuff we actually have going on here connected to this matrix right now. So we have two different Pro Tools rigs connected via MADI. Mm -hmm. We also have some IP audio happening here on this D64R red net box from Focusrite. We also have our Omni connected via AES into this um, matrix system here. And then we also got some mic pre's. So let's talk about some of this mic pre's down here. Yeah, so we talked about the A to D converters that are on this. They're exceptional quality. We have an option card that is an eight channel A to D plus mic pre. And we can actually control all the aspects, all the properties of that directly in Pro Tools. It supports the Avid pre protocol, just like this millennia down here that you're seeing. So tell us a bit of, on how you actually control the box. So the matrix connects to the network. Uh, it has a simple ethernet connection on the back and anybody on the network can, can go out and grab that box. And using a piece of software called Dadman, which is cross-platform Mac PC, can actually go in and do all of that routing and set the properties for our A to Ds and our D to As and our, our mic preamp settings and clocking everything directly from the Dadman software. So now that we've showed you guys all this great connectivity on the Pro Tools matrix, Let's take a closer look at Dadman, which is the software and the patch bay for this entire system. So within the Dadman software, let's take a closer look at the patch bay that is the, the interface to routing uh, within the matrix. Uh, if we take a look here, you can see that the inputs and the outputs show up. So those reflect the hardware that are populated into the unit. Now, the top level, I can actually see a thumbnail representation of the patching. And when I click, it's gonna explode to show me more detail about those particular uh, connected patches. Now let's take a look at the IO that's in this particular interface. You can see I've got an A to D card installed and that is either line level or mic pre uh, inputs in eight channels. And you can see those are actually labeled here. Now I also have indication of the sample rate lock and the clock status on all those inputs and all those outputs. Now below the A to D, I have AES EBU. We talked about 16 channels of AES on the back of the chassis, which I can patch and route. 
I have Pro Tools HD1 and HD2. Those are each 32 channel DigiLink connections that are able to connect, again, to either two Pro Tools rigs or, for example, 64 channels into one HDX system. Below that, I have the 64 channels of coaxial MATI on the chassis, which I can see is patched currently as well as some optional dual head MATI cards, uh, which are reflected here, MATI module one and two. Lastly, the Dante audio option is installed, and that's allowing me to patch anything over the Dante network, either from applications on my laptop here, or anything that I have in the studio, including uh, some of the RedNet stuff that we talked about earlier. Now, if we take a closer look at the patches, I can see not only the sample rate status, but also full PPM metering on all of the inputs and all the outputs on whatever I click on. So right now, on the input tab, I'm looking at Dante IP audio, and then if we wanna go up to, let's say Pro Tools HD2, now I'm looking at HD2 as the destination. So let's just do a simple patch here and show you how uh, to connect some routing. So I'm gonna take the line level or mic pre-level inputs, the A to D, and uh, I'm gonna click on that. We're gonna route that to Pro Tools. So simply go A to D as the input, Pro Tools HD1, uh, which is our HD native system as the output. And I can simply come up here and click and make a one-to-one -one patch between those inputs and those outputs. Now, if I wanted to come in here and make more specific labeling uh, on these, I could certainly do that. And the beauty of that is that that's all stored directly in the hardware. So next time I come back to the box, all my labels are preserved. Let's say I wanna take those same A to D inputs and actually patch those simultaneously to Dante. All I've gotta do is keep my input as A to D and then change my output to Dante and make a similar patch that we did before. So now those mic preamps are going simultaneously to my Pro Tools 1, which is HD native, as well as uh, being sent to the Dante network that I could collect, for example, on a different DAW. Now just above the patch bay is the user configurable monitor section that you can create and control via Yukon with your control surface like the S6. Now if we dial into the monitor profile, we can actually go and configure any of the inputs, the outputs, the speakers, fold downs, incredibly comprehensive, whether working with mono or stereo sources or all the way up to immersive uh, in Dolby Atmos. If we take a look at the monitor interface here, we can see uh, within our control room, we have various sources. So for example, Pro Tools HD, HD native is showing up as one of the sources that I've created. And um, we can define this if you take a look any of the IO that you've populated into the Pro Tools matrix shows up as a possible input that you can source from. So you can take a look and see that the HD native, in this case PTHD, is coming from the DigiLink inputs one and two, and those are labeled as such. We have some IO coming over Dante from the outputs of Pro Tools, including iTunes and SoundMiner, and that's being sent over Dante. And you can see uh, just another input coming in to our virtual control room. We have other sources coming in over the network. Uh, if we wanna add an additional source, we can just go and say, add new source, and we're gonna call this laptop. And let's just pull this off of the second rig, which is coming over Dante, and we'll just say this is coming over set channel seven and eight. We can easily assign this to a network audio feed that is arriving at our, at our monitor section. So just below the sources, I have outputs, and I can add sets of speakers for near field monitors, and you can see I've got uh, DA one and two being used off of that DA card uh, to go to a simple stereo uh, set of speakers. Now, I can also have uh, 5.1 monitoring, 7.1 monitoring, all the way up to immersive audio for Dolby Atmos with 64 individual speakers. I can control directly from the matrix. Now, I can also take advantage of fold downs. I have a full uh, capabilities to be able to uh, down mix between 5.1 and stereo or 7.1 and 5.1. And I've got a whole bunch of preset configurations that I can access quickly and then apply to a speaker set. Now within the monitor profile, once I've created my control room, now I can go to think about talent mixes, Q mixes, and uh, I can feed, for example, uh, a RedNet AM2 over Dante and, and create a custom uh, virtual mix for the talent, which is comprised of any of the inputs we described from MADI to Dante to analog to AES-EBU and really give the talent what they need.
So once we've dialed in our configuration for monitoring, control room, fold downs, outputs, talent mixes, we can actually go and via Yukon control every aspect of this uh, directly from our control surface, whether that is an iPad running Pro Tools Control or our full flagship control surface, which is Pro Tools S6. So now we've moved over to the S6 where I can access the monitor profile for matrix that we created in Dadman. I have the ability to, to look at all the sources either on the soft keys or directly from the touch screen uh, on, on the master touch module. Now we have a session open in Pro Tools that is playing back an immersive audio uh, Dolby Atmos uh, trailer and we can go and monitor that source directly from the touch screen which is what we're listening to right now. Uh, I can switch between any of the different input sources that we created previously, which includes Dante virtual sound card sources like, uh, like Machine, other Pro Tools rigs. For example, we have a separate HDX system playing back uh, some, uh, some music tracks. Uh, we have uh, various uh, external synthesizers and internal synthesizers that are connected via Dante, as well as some of my different cue mixes that I can access and dial in and choose sources for directly from the surface. And if I want to actually look at high resolution meters on the surface, I can simply choose uh, to bring that stuff up directly here. And now I've got a 712 stream coming out of uh, Pro Tools HD onto the desk, and I can actually even trim any of the input sources directly on the faders here. So we've installed the A to D mic preamp card options, and that allows me to actually go over here and bring up the remote control mic preamps that I can dial in directly from the fader. So I've got gain control uh, on intensive DB on those mic preamps. I can see the phase, phantom power, uh, and, and the trims and source selections directly on the, on the displays. So it's incredibly flexible, powerful, high resolution metering, any mono or multi-channel source coming into the monitor section that I can switch and sum at will.